Today's video will demonstrate how to use a debugger to find a bug in a unit test. Hello, I'm James Helfrich. A very common debugging scenario is that the unit test fails and now the program has to find the problem. Well, where do you even begin? Well, this video will demonstrate how to use the debugger to first of all isolate the problem and then verify that you have fixed it. We call that a unit test is a test designed to test a single test case for a single function independent of the rest of the program. Unit tests have four parts. Setup, which is going to set the member variables and all the uh, parameters sent to the method. The single line of code, which exercises the method in the test. Verify, which is going to assert that the uh, output is exactly what expected. And teardown, which will destroy any objects. Now, the question is, how do you debug a unit test? In other words, if, it, if the assert fires, where is the problem? So there are several steps to finding bugs. First, we're going to find the test. We're going to find the test that caused the error, and then we're going to use the call stack feature if we had a crash or an assert. Otherwise, we're just going to scroll to it if we find the line number of the test. Then we're going to set a breakpoint on the method under test inside the exercise part of the unit test. Then we're going to use the watch window to verify the setup conditions to make sure that all the member variables were set correctly. Then we're going to manually inspect the code to make sure that the verify is set correctly. And then finally, we're going to step into the method under test to make sure that the code functions as we expect. Let's take a look at a demo of this process. Okay, so I like to debug a program that in this case implements a standard template library's linked list. So I'm going to run the program. And as it runs, build succeeded, cool. And then we're gonna take a look at our test results. Oh, looks like I had quite a few unit tests that failed. Okay, so we're gonna first take a look at test push front at line 1530. So let's see here, line 1530, do, 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 do. There's a lot of unit tests here. Okay, 1530, test push front empty, okay. So always the first step is I'm going to set a breakpoint on the function under test, and I'm going to run it. Um, let's do this again. Run. Okay, and the breakpoint set. Now, question number one, is my setup condition set correctly? And I'm going to take a look at that. And L um, has zero elements, and head and front or tail. Okay, so that's correct. And my S is going to be at... 99. So everything is correct. That's exactly what I expect it to be. Okay. Um, then I'm going to check my conclusion here. Uh, I expect to copy one element. Yes. Allocate one element. Yes. I'm not going to destroy or delete or assign or move anything. Um, head and tail should not be the null pointer, right? But head and tail, wait, hang on a second here. Tail and head should be pointing to the same element because there's only one. Okay. Looks like my test is flawed. So I'm going to stop this here. I'm going to fix my unit test, and I'm going to run it again. Oops, I forgot to remove my, my breakpoint. I'm going to continue from there. And OK, we got that one fixed. All right, now let's look at the next one here. Move empty, 1440. 1440, this guy right here. OK, I'm going to set a breakpoint. OK, so now I set my breakpoint. And now we're going to run the test. Let's take a look what happens. Build succeeded. OK. Now, um, I'm expecting to copy move 99. And I'm looking for 99 here. So I take a look at this. And my value is 999. Oh, I have a typo in my test. So it looks like my test is incorrect. So I'm going to fix that. Delete my breakpoint. And run again. Okay, that works good. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to take a look at my um, test here and I'm going to see here um, clear standard 13, 1, 4, 13, 10, 13, 1, 4. This guy right here is getting calls. So I'm going to clear. I'm going to run it. <clears throat> All right, as always, I'm going to first verify my setup condition here. And I'm expecting to have one, two, three elements. So I'm going to look at my list here. Num elements equals three. P head. So notice I'm using my watch window here. It's going to be um, 11. That's the first one. That's good. And P next is going to point to 26. 26, good. And then P next after it. 
is going to point to 31, 31, good. And P next is, P next, I need some more space here, is the null pointer. So I don't want to go beyond that. Okay, looks like my list is set up correctly. Everything is good. Um, I'm expecting to have three destructors get called and we're good to go. Right, so when I clear, I should remove all those and my delete should get called three times and I should be empty after that. So it looks like my setup and exercise is correct. So now I'm going to step into, step into, and I'm going to go through each element in my link list and clear. Okay. And I'm going to step over and so P is spot 11. That's correct. And P arrow P next. Okay. Move on to the next one. Now this is spot 26. Wait, I'm not actually deleting anything. So I'm expecting, so I'm going back to my stack here. I'm expecting that I'm going to call the destructor on my spy three times, but I'm not calling it at all. That's kind of weird. Okay, so I'm going back to list here. Okay, I'm going to stop this here and I'm going to say P next equals P next, delete P. Okay, let's try that again. And there we go. Okay, and then my unit tests, I still have gotten my breakpoint in there and all my unit tests pass. So the key takeaway from this is number one, set a breakpoint on the method under test. Number two, check the setup to make sure it's set correctly. Number three, set the check the verify to make sure we didn't make any mistakes. And finally, number four is to step into the code and verify every step line by line by looking at the values in the watch window. You can learn more about using the debugger in the debugger chapter of the software design textbook.